Welcome back to Miss Clark Does Science. Last time we were talking about osmosis as a way of water diffusing down a concentration gradient. Today we're going to learn about the only way that you need to know how things move against a concentration gradient by active transport. This is a higher level topic in the specification, so if you're doing foundation science, ignore this video, move on to the next one. If you're doing higher though, that's what we're going to be talking about today. So active transport is the third way that you need to know about how things get in and out of cells. This time it's an active process, so not passive anymore. So this time we actually need energy because we're going against a concentration gradient. So before where I had my nice little three to one things going down, that's nice diffusion, that's passive or and it's osmosis and diffusion. This time of active transport, we're going against the concentration gradient, so we're pushing it up the hill. And if you want to go against it, you need energy. And we get our energy from aerobic respiration inside cells from the mitochondria, and it is in the form of something called ATP. It is a very long word. It is adenotriosphosphate, but you don't need to know what it stands for. You just need to know that ATP is a molecule that provides the energy to this whole process. It's the result of respiration. That is what energy comes in. We don't just kick out energy from the mitochondria. We kick it out in a form of a molecule. And that's what then comes and binds to this membrane. You usually have things like a protein in the membrane. You don't need to know it in this much detail. But it's just showing you that these molecules go into the cell against the concentration gradient because there's more here than there is here. We push it in. Uh, through a bigger gap in the membrane usually. It doesn't go actually straight through the membrane like the other ones do. This one has a dedicated area to do it. And this is where the, your energy provides the energy to move it. Okay, so that's it for ways that things can move across cell membranes. We'll next be moving on to what enzymes are and how they're involved in chemical reactions.